France will send gas to Germany if needed, while Germany stands ready to provide it with electricity, President Emmanuel Macron said on Monday, adding that this showcased European solidarity in the face of the energy crisis stemming from the crisis in Ukraine. Nous allons finaliser dans les prochaines semaines we will finalize in the coming weeks the gas connections necessary to be able to deliver gas to Germany, if there was a need for solidarity and whenever there is a need. Today, for the first time in a very long time, France is exporting gas to Eastern Europe. We are going to strengthen this and put ourselves in a position to show solidarity with Germany on the gas front if the winter is difficult and that Germany needs it. The work was recorded in the Council on Friday. It will be done in the coming weeks and will be ready for the winter. Russia is buying millions of artillery shells and rockets from North Korea, according to newly declassified intelligence reports from the United States. The New York Times, which first reported the purchases, said the reports provided little detail on the exact weaponry involved or the timing or size of the shipments. Hundreds of Palestinians took part on Monday in the funeral of a Palestinian teenager killed in the early morning by Zionist forces in the west of Jenin city. The victim, Tahar Zakarna, who was 19-year-old, was killed during clashes in an arrest operation in the occupied West Bank, this being the fourth Palestinian killed by Zionist gunfire in a matter of five days. In the port city of Busan, South Korea, waterfront roads and shops were damaged by the huge waves and heavy rain brought on by Typhoon Hindamnor, one of the strongest to hit the country for decades. Typhoon Hindamnor made landfall in South Korea early Tuesday, causing power outages and leaving one person missing. But initial reports indicate little serious damage as the storm heads into neighboring Japan.